I'm Mimi Hooper and I'm a guide dog mobility instructor and I cover the Canterbury region. I've been working for the Blind Foundation for 25 years. Prior to that I was in Guide Dogs for the Blind Association in the UK which is where I qualified and I started there in 1982. I have 27 clients in Canterbury at the moment. Mimi is an amazing lady. She's kind, she's very considerate and uh, I call her the million dollar lady because what she has done for me and I know for other people is just incredible. Um, my job mainly is working with the blind people and their guide dogs and I interview them, assess them, find a dog for them and then support them through the life of that dog. This year I got an award for client care and the clients and colleagues actually nominate you. It made me feel really good. It actually made me feel better than if it had been an award from management um, or something like that because it's your actual colleagues and clients and that made it feel really special. I decided because of her dedication, her uh, not just to me but to all these guide dog users and I've met quite a few of them, that she needs to be recognised and so I nominated her for the Star Award. I was one of the people that nominated Mimi for the Star Award um, for her work with members. She just has gone for me and I also hear from other members and clients, she goes the extra mile for them, she will do anything to support them with their guide dog. Uh, I love my job and the reason I went into it was because it was such a lovely mixture of dealing with people and dealing with dogs. Cutting a golden, goodness. <laughs> Cade is an 18 month old black lab and he has been in training for three weeks now. Before I had Cade, he was with a puppy walker up in Auckland and they had him for the first 18 months of his life. Um, normally it's between 12 and 18 months that they come in for training. Well, we're actually puppy walkers, so our role is to socialise puppy. It just makes sure that he gets every chance he can at anything we can get for him. And when we meet with Mimi, or at any stage throughout us having Weasley, Mimi is only a cell phone call away and will help us. My involvement with the puppy walkers in Christchurch is that I look after them and give them any advice that they might need. I have two, two puppies in Christchurch. We're hoping to get two more by the end of the year and have four altogether. It's a tough job being a guide dog instructor. People on the outside, they look at these beautiful dogs and there's dogs adoringly looking at the guide dog instructor and they think, wouldn't that be a heavenly job? It's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I think she's just really passionate about it, and that passion goes through to every part of the job. Good boy. Good the training process for a guide dog, a lot of it is repetitive. You're just taking the dogs out and you're repeating and repeating and repeating until they learn what you want from them. I'll have Cade for about six months, between four and six months, depending how long it takes him to actually adjust to what I'm trying to teach him, and then how long it takes him to accept the responsibility. There's so many tasks because the, you've got to teach them all the tasks for going on and off public transport. You've got to teach them how to find counters in shops. You've got to teach them how to go off a pavement if the pavement's Good totally blocked. Good boy, stop. Good lad. Forward. Good boy. No, straight. Straight. So what we're doing today is um, we're taking uh, Cade through the artificial obstacles, but he won't be treating them like obstacles because he doesn't know that yet. For me, this is where I start with the training, so I might I get the dog used to me, I take it out on a few walks with me, and then um, I introduce it into the obstacles very early on so that it's starting to listen to my voice and concentrate. So it's a, an early stage training. Kate, Kate, forward. Well, during his training at different intervals, I'll put a blindfold on, and um, once he gets to the stage where he can safely guide me, and he's showing that he can take on the responsibility, then we'll know he's ready. Once he's ready and he's done the blindfolds and he's finished all his tasks, uh, he gets taken up to Auckland with me and I present him at a matching meeting and we'll start looking for the right visually impaired or blind person for him. Well, my guide dog is Vic. I was matched with him just over 12 months ago in April and he is a three-year-old full working dog. Well, this is Fletcher and Fletcher is my second guide dog and I was rung up on the 22nd of February three years ago um, to see whether I would take Fletch 
Fletcher is a match. When a person's being matched with a dog, we actually then do a program. So I'll take the dog to them. The dog will stay with them for three or four days just to bond and, and relax. And then I'll visit them every day and start training with them. It usually takes about three or four weeks. <laughs> When it does work out, there's just not a feeling like it. It's just wonderful. Find time. Straight across. Straight across. The signs of a perfect match, there's, there's obviously um, the speed, the height, the physical aspects that you look into. In we go. Good boy. To me, a good team is at the end of the training program that they're actually starting to gel, they're starting to work together. You can see that they're, they're not having, the person's not having to think of every movement they're making with the dog. The first few walks were very challenging. It was very hard to come to terms with allowing a dog to guide you around and to put your trust in the dog. But once you start realising that the dog is very trustworthy and a very awesome um, tool, uh, it's Good amazing. Boy. They actually call them the Rolls Royce of Mobility. Right. Mimi has been a huge, huge support. I lost my sight three years ago, and so I uh, decided to talk to the Foundation about a guide dog. I waited over a year to be uh, so, uh, eligible for the one and the for the right matching on the crossing. dog. On the crossing, waiting, waiting. Slide back. It is a, a real skill being able to match Forward. a person with Forward. a dog suitable for right what on. they require. Forward. And not everybody would uh, be uh, suitable to be matched with the likes of Vic because he's a vigorous dog. And she knew that I was keen to walk 20, 25 kilometres a week and uh, um, he's the type of dog that can do that. Once a person's graduated, we visit them regularly in the first year, um, and then after a year, we only visit them as they need us, or at least once a year. Fix straight, fix straight. What keeps me doing this job is the difference you make to people's lives. I know that sounds like a cliche, but it's so true. The dog I remember most from my first batch was a dog called Bob, and uh, he was a, a pretty special dog, and he went to a special needs client. Basically brought the client out of his shell. It was a really moving, moving time. <laughs> if I wasn't doing this job, um, what would I be doing? I can't imagine that at all. And I'm just really enjoying working in Christchurch, working in Canterbury, and doing the job I do. It's an incredible job.